My fourth sewing class was draping and our first project in that class um, dealt with making a dress and we were each assigned a clothing store and my clothing store was Chico's and we had to make sure that our dress went along with what our clothing store already had. So I called my design Travel Essence and we had to put like our target market and talk about them. I posted images of what the ideal target market for Chico's is. Um, here's one design. We had to put up at least four different designs I believe. Um, we had to talk about the design aesthetics for the store and of course like post our fabrics. Um, I noticed that Chico's had a lot of solids and print so I wanted to incorporate both of them and so that's why I have the solid blue navy and then I have like the tribal-ish green fabric. Here is the dress I made for my first project in my uh, draping course. As I mentioned before, I used the navy blue solid color along with the green travel print. And I used the travel print for the yoke as well as the hem. And the dress is pretty simple. It's sleeveless, has the bust dart and two contour darts on each side. Um, the back, you have the invisible zipper at center back runs all the way down to the hip and again you have the contour darts on each side. The hardest part was doing the shoulder to enclose everything. But overall I think I had fun making this dress so and I like the way it turned out. My final project in my draping course we had to make a formal dress um, inspired by the Mardi Gras theme. We also had to tag another theme along with it. My design was called Graceful Celebration. Um, my inspiration was from like the draping of the decorations like the Mar Mardi Gras beads and like the ribbons. Um, we had to present five ideas but this one is the one I ended up making. Um, here are the technical flats for each of the designs. And here are the fabrics, the names as well as the fiber content. And here's my color story. This is a dress for my final project in my draping course that I told you that was in, inspired by Mardi Gras. It's made of purple crepe back satin and it has a, a teal organza overlay. As I told you, I'm inspired by I was inspired by the draped uh, decorations so that's why you see the creases that represent like the drapiness. Um, if you look really closely the shape kind of resembles the fleur-de-lis in a way. Um, there's also of course since this dress is strapless we had to incorporate boning and that was my first time ever using boning. Um, the back is pretty simple. Um, you just have an invisible zipper going all the way down to the hip and you see that the overlay goes into the center back seam. All right, so that's it for part three of the garments that I've sewn during my time at the University of Delaware. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. Bye.